Hi, Taurus. Welcome to Opal Oracle, anyone who is new, um, anyone returning. Hi. Okay, Taurus, while I um, lay your cards out, I just want you to look at the sky because the clouds are cool right now. They're interesting. Hold on. I see that you will be excelling in your finances, okay? In your stability. In your home. Can you see that little, I wanted you to see this actually in the center here is this really amazing, oh, it's hard, it's, it's not zoomed in, it's blowing it out, but it's kind of like this portal um, I saw two elephants at first, they got their trunks down. Hold on, let me see if I can see. There's something about Italian um, sculpture. What's that Italian sculpture where the woman has no arms and it's just her upper torso? Whatever that is, whatever like that artist, or maybe the name of that piece, Something about it is important. Interesting. Okay. So. Let me tune in a second. I feel like you're picking up on other people's vibrations. Okay. Um... You want to turn one into two. I see that. But you're also stopping yourself in some sort of way. Like the energy that you're sending out is kind of <laughs> blocking the past from coming in. Like the friction that you had with the past, the old fights that you had, things like that. You're just kind of like, I'm good. I'm all set. I heard, don't ignore God. <laughs> don't ignore God. Told me I'll quit when I'm ready. Maybe he's telling you the same thing. Now, something that you could be a little bit more open to receiving is that you can, the vibration that is emitted from your body, which therefore comes back in an attraction, right? You can make that whatever it is that you want. Okay, whatever it is that you want. You can make your life whatever it is that you want. But it all depends on the action that you take. Whatever it is that you, whatever your actions and your energy goes towards, that is what will become. You also have the star card here, which is Uranus, um, which obviously has been affecting you since about May, right? When it went into your sign in May. Uh, I also see that you need to be more open to the fact that you, well, there's kind of a double message here. One is, um, 
you have options, okay? But you can't sit around with your options for too long, okay? Because I sense that one of them, it's kind of like I said with the key in the door and God, and we're talking about your ancestors and things booting you through the door, right? Give me some kick in the ass. It happens. It's fine. It actually helps us a lot, especially when you're fixed earth, you know? But the point is, is that it's like, we can go back to the same analogy. Like this time, God gave you two keys. And basically, you're allowed to pick whatever it is that you want to pick, but you have a certain timeline. Then God takes back one of the keys. Now you only have one key to two doors and you don't know which one it goes to yet. But I heard no, that God is never going to leave you hanging. Okay. Like you're never going to be stuck. Really. It just, it's just, so important to uh i heard multiply your focus okay now for some of you this is about fine tuning like uh you're taking your focus on one thing and you're like doubling 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 or you're taking what generally because again you're fixed earth sometimes you hone in on one thing right like the bull like kind of like the horse it's it's it has one one, the head is, you know, the head is there to move you around. So <laughs> the point is, is that uh, maybe there needs to be your head moving around and be like, okay, what, what really, how many options do I actually have here? And what feels good? What feels good when I'm working on it? What do I really want to work on? Because I see that you have a choice to make whatever it is that you want. You know, whatever it is that you want, but you can't do what you were, what you're doing before. Exactly. Uh, you know, you're like there's construction that's happening okay but the reason why all these changes are happening all these what may even seem like blockages at times it's and remember this is technically for a two-week period obviously this will relate longer than that it's usually about six months or three to six months or so um but the reason why the the construction is happening is so that something can something needs to be fixed and attended to appropriately. Um, and when you're more open to receiving the fact that you have more options than just doing whatever you've done in the past, uh, or whatever, like whatever you're doing that maybe you even enjoy now, but you feel like I have to, like you feel limited in some way to not be able to move, like you don't have a lot of mobi mobility in it. You do, you have a lot more mo mobility than you think that you do. You just have to be more open to receiving that as, a, as one of your actions is understanding that, right? And that connects also back to, um, because what comes if you understand that is more faith in God and stronger structures to who it is that you are, okay? I see having faith is so important, you know, so important. I think you should do, um, because you're fixed earth and you're all the, well, you and Capricorn specifically, you're very long-term kind of folks. Um, you, especially the word legacy is attached to Taurus. So that's like an unconscious thing. But I was actually just telling my Taurus friend, like Taurus in Greek mythology actually was the one who made Neptune's trident, made Zeus's lightning bolt staff and death or Scorpio's 
uh, invisibility mask. So it's something to think about where like, whatever you're doing in this life, maybe this life is just to have fun as a Taurus, weird. I mean, I'm not saying those of you who aren't having fun all the time, of course, it's just like, again, a bull in its red sparkly pants, right? Kind of out of character and that's fine. Um, but it's kind of, in ways of the legacy, it's sort of like, imagine in another life if we already did our great work. You know, and then again, this life is just for like, sure, you can still be serious, right? You can still put in like, do the hard work that you love, that makes you feel good, you know? Like, things that are long lasting and miraculous and, you know, the moon is exalted in your sign. You're a very spiritual sign, you know? Um, I heard if you don't revoke it. Um, so in ways of this fixed earth element, and as I just mentioned, there's something about you trying to manifest little things. Like, I mean, you could test it out if you don't believe in this kind of thing and be like, I want to see, I don't know, red sparkly pants or a red balloon or a yellow bird or you know whatever it is just to see like what you think about happens right what you ask for happens so but you can also do that in ways of like okay i want to make i want to learn more about this subject and this subject and i want to work on um you know i want to make this much money at work a month um or at very least build up to it right like say i feel like there's a progression in these mini uh manifestation parts okay And I sense that since this is your next step or your leap of faith, there is something about those of you who want to make more money or feel more stable, like, because this is a project card to me or has been for a while now. And it's like, but it's creative, right? It's creative. You're very, your hands are, again, I've said it before, you'd never make a Taurus with no hands. God would never make a no handed Taurus. It just wouldn't work. Um, so it's kind of like, well, just gaining something more in the physical world where you feel really stable, but more than you already have. Um, but I heard you have to be in charge of, because you do like nice things also, like what, what is the, I guess, what's the reason behind what you're asking for? That's just important to know because we always receive what we ask for. So it's important to know why, so that we're actually ensuring that we're asking for the right thing, okay? Your message from your higher self is to, and I see that the eclipses, uh, what was that, mostly July, to probably the beginning of the calendar, Gregorian calendar year been having a hard time speaking lately um my wisdom teeth are coming in and it's affecting my person um i guess wisdom does that changes you right anyway i see that um how to manifest more successfully also is, uh, I've told you this before, and again, in a way, uh, the moon is, is strong in Taurus, so especially those Taurus moon, but either way, um, I also see Libra, Sagittarius, and Scorpio moon in here also, possibly Aquarian moon, but the point is, is that moon cycles would be important for you to pay attention to, okay? That, the, that those are good for manifestation. Those are times where you're like, you know, and maybe it's going off a lunar calendar versus a solar calendar. So that could be for those of you who are Buddhist or just uh, what have you, 
you know, finding out what that means, how that functions. Okay, doing research, I heard about that also, will help you in this change that you're going through, this transition that you're going through. Okay? I see that there's still something, um, for some of you uh, that are married, because there's multiple marriage cards here, and it's been coming up a bit, so obviously that's a big contract, and so it's important who it's relevant to. It's like there's still something murky about it, but I actually see you figuring out what it is that you, like where it is that you need to go and how to move forward in it um, so that it changes as it should. Um, your message from your higher self is anyone who has passed also, children that you've lost, you know, parents, hus you know, spouses, faith, you know, energy, all these things that you felt like you have lost because your eye possess and whenever you don't possess anything anymore in whatever context, it does affect you. Um, I see that it's important for you to understand that you no longer have to energetically stay with that okay particularly um having to do with children or childhood okay i heard scorpio wants you to heal okay scorpio wants you to clear out your karma too um well they want that for everybody but you know they can't do it for everybody. It's actually not their job and it's hard, you know. Like watching something happen is hard. Not being able to do anything about it. Like having your life, you know, I heard flash before your eyes. <coughs> but I guess that's why you gotta go back and just appreciate every day right yeah yeah just appreciate every day being alive I see small goal I heard small goals again you know just um you know say right now you're making like you know if it's about money like ask for a little bit more or ask for you know what it what is it that you need every month whether that's financially emotionally you know and if you're not getting this if you're if you're asking this of other people well then you have to remember that yeah if you're asking this of other people you have to remember that this is also about you okay and the way that how well you treat yourself okay Let's pick an animal, or, well, this is the Kim Kranz, um Wild Unknown. Let's see for Taurus for an animal to help them. The owl. Cool. The owl. Um, we actually talked about an air sign or, like, an air kind of the mental realm of Taurus last time. Um, it's like air is a very good realm for poking holes in things okay they help others release things by poking holes in them or cutting them away or whatever separating things from other things um, so I heard um Try not to take offense to it. This is also your own mind in the way that it's communicating with you. I also see that the owl is, is a silent animal, okay? And because this is swords, it's like silent about the way that you think. Um, not, no bueno, right? You gotta say, because the thing is, is it's, it's a dual meaning because 
the Son of Swords is very much a communicator, okay, which is usually the Knight of Swords. They're a fast communicator. They're, they like to, they ask a lot of questions, okay. Um, this is, you also received, I guess, the Swan, the Black Swan, which is Scorpio's card. You know, um, don't, I heard... Try to think about how it is that you feel and it's kind of like I said in the beginning about where you are emanating like others energy in a way you're absorbing it and therefore it, it can affect you. That's also just you not because you're so aware of the body but I sense sometimes you because it's your strength, it's also your weakness. Like, you got to be really aware of how you care for your own body. Okay, that'll keep your mind sharp. Okay, that keeps you more in a correct mind space. That keeps you in a better emotional uh, healthiness space also. Okay? Because Scorpio is your opposite, and it is. It represents death. None of us live forever, you know? So... And we only, you know, we only have this body on loan, so I see that it's really important to take care of it, okay? It also help your creative process, okay? Just whether, whatever it is that you're doing, wherever it is that you're doing it, it'll teach you about, you know, Son of Swords 2 is also just super aware. You know, they're always, like, observing their surroundings and little details and... And that helps push inspiration, which is really positive. Yep, just split the deck. And there's one of your cards. You know? Yeah. All right. Well, take care of yourself. Um, there's a full moon in Aries at the end of the month. Um, thanks, anyone who's still here. It's going to be 22, 22 right then. Um, yeah, I'm just so appreciative. Everyone who's been supporting and just donating and all the awesome people I'm working with privately. It's just so, I feel really blessed. So thank you so much. I'm really grateful to be able to, um, you know, share with folks the messages that are come through you know the tarot so that we can all start feeling as we should as god wants us to like safe loved and protected you know as we move along right knowing that like you know and you just you do such a good job of showing patience and kind of softness and gentleness that's just it's needed for the world you know so thanks for that all right talk to you later gator peace out